Yeah, obviously, very disappointed uh, to lose the game. Uh, I don't think there was much in the game. Uh, it was probably a nil-nil game, if you ask me. Uh, but it is what it is. We move on now, uh, and we we look forward to Partick Thistle on Saturday. I suppose it shows where the squads have come and how well the manager has done it. You know, last season they were running up to all the main sort of competitions, and now yeah. these guys are disappointed that you aren't going there, and hosting them and beating them. That's well, that, point exactly that. That's exactly what was said uh, after the game in the changing room. Uh, you know, it was a massive positive uh, from our point of view, and shows how far we've come as a football club over you know, what four months' time, maybe, maybe less. Uh, you know, it, it's it's good for us. Uh, I think they were, they came here uh, after losing three 0 and they changed their formation because of us and changed personnel because of us. So it's a compliment for us as a, as a football club. Uh, uh, so we, you know, we're we're confident at the minute as a group and as a football club. So we need to we need to deliver on Saturday now. You must be delighted personally, though, for the start of the season. If I just scored big goals and, and some big games for yourself as well. Yeah, I've been pleased with my return. Uh, you know, if you were to tell me I was I scored nine goals by now, uh, I'd have took that. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy the way it's going for myself and for the football club. You know, we're in the I think we're sixth at the minute and semi final uh, of the cup. So uh, as a football club, you would have took that at the start of the season as well. How difficult was it? Obviously, there's a lot of talk about your shooting stuff at the beginning of the season. I imagine for you, you want to concentrate on the football. Is it difficult to sort of shut all that away and, and concentrate on the football and score goals, or did you just Basically, ignoring. Uh, sometimes you know it can be difficult, especially if you're not playing and training at that minute in time. Uh, but uh, once you get back training and you're playing, you know it kind of it goes out of your head. You know you're occupied, then you, you know you, you're, you're playing, you're doing what you want to do. Uh, we're so lucky uh, to play the sport that we well, well I grew up, uh, you know, enjoying and love doing. So I'm I'm I'm, the, I'm very very lucky. And privileged to be able to do that, so I try not to let anything like that affect me. Uh, the way I look at it is, it's a compliment. Uh, it's it's a massive pat on the back for myself uh, if if someone's interested in me. There is obviously a lot of talk about your future. I think obviously the inevitable question: What do you see it? Do you see it as this is your final year at Marvel? Are you hoping to? <coughs> again, again, I've, I've I've not really give it much thought. I'm just trying to think about the here and now and concentrate on scoring goals uh, at the minute I'm doing that and uh, that's that's the way my mindset is and that's the way I want to carry on uh, and hopefully I can carry on scoring the goals In terms of your level of enjoyment though this must be a, a real rich real form for you must be is this the most or the most enjoyable part of your career so far playing at this moment in time with Marvel? Uh, I think since I've come to this football club I think in my first year uh, I was probably on seven goals at this point last in my first year my second year I was on seven goals and then this time I'm on nine goals so it's not that far far apart uh, so you know I think I've been quite consistent with it uh, and that's what I've, I've tried to do uh, try and go in, into every game like any other and score goals and that's what's, that's what I'm paid to do at the end of the day uh, but in, in terms of enjoyment I, I've enjoyed it ever since I walked in the front door at this football club uh, and and, that, and that's probably why you've seen uh, me play with so much uh, passion and uh, you know a smile on my face because, and that's probably why you've seen the best of me because I'm happy. Uh, I think that in previous years when I when I was a young kid and I was going out on loan here, there and everywhere, at a few clubs I wasn't happy and I'm not the same player. Uh, to get the maximum out of my uh, potential, I, I need to be happy and and that's what this club's allowed me to be. Um, in terms of your future. There's obviously been a lot of talk, and it would be really easy for you to get unsettled off the pitch. What sort of role has the manager played in just keeping your head straight and uh, just giving you the confidence to just go out and just do everything on the pitch and just leave it all on there? Well, that's exactly what the manager said, to be fair. Uh, he said, you know, don't let it affect you. Go out there and prove people wrong and, and show people why people are coming in for you. Uh, I think you've seen just before the Aberdeen game, uh, he come out and said, Go and prove to Aberdeen manager why, why he bid for you and, and, why, and why they should have put more money in for you. Uh, I like to think I did that on the, on the Thursday night, uh, but again, I didn't really give that much thought. I saw the headline, obviously, but 
Uh, in terms of myself, I just thought, right, it's another game. Go and enjoy it. Uh, thankfully, I've managed to score the two goals. So that, that's the way I, I address things. But the gaffer's been, been brilliant for me. Uh, ever since i come to this football club, he's helped me. Uh, at the first point, he was assistant manager. And uh, he was very good at man management. Uh, I remember at the, at, at the very first time, uh, I wasn't actually playing. It was when I first come to the club. Uh, we were in Vanessa Way. Uh, I was on the bench, uh, and I remember him pulling me on the the second week of my uh, at me being at this football club, and just pulled me aside and said, "You know, keep working hard, keep doing what you're doing in training, and you'll get in." Uh, two weeks later, I was in and I scored against St. Johnson away, uh, and, and I've not looked back. A lot, I've not looked back since then. So I suppose your sort of relationship with him makes you more determined on the field to repay the faith. He's put in you throughout your time here as well. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, uh, I've got massive respect for him. Uh, you know him and Barraclough at the time. Uh, they bought me. Uh, so you know, they, they, this, this this football club took a little bit of a gamble on me. Uh, I know they don't pay for many football players, and they and they pay for me. So it's a massive compliment, and I do feel like I need to repay this football club. I feel like I've been doing that, and I'll continue to do that. Just looking ahead to the weekend, then Partick Thistle are side renowned for defending well. How do you see that game going, and how much do you feel you as a, a striker's role in that game will be? Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, after the after the Sunday game, I'll, I was ready to play again on the Monday just to put things right. Uh, I think everyone felt the same. Everyone was a little bit down, but you know we, we, we've come back in and uh, we're all positive again. Uh, and I'm looking forward to the game. Um, I certainly think we can we can cause problems for them, uh, so that's what we're going to do. As a striker on nine goals, is this like the one goal that you always kind of want to get to double figures? Is this always when you, it's always in your mind thinking, right, the next goal gets me to ten. Not really, no. Uh, I think if you get caught up and stuff like that, then it might affect you. I literally just it's another goal. That's the way I think. Uh, yeah, if, yeah, it is my tenth goal. You know, it does put me into double figures, which is uh, a good achievement before Christmas. Uh, but in terms of the way I think, I just think it's another goal, uh, and I've, I've, I'll just be trying to do that every time I go out there and play. Have you set yourself any targets for the end of the season? Uh, not, not massively, no. Uh, I've always got little targets in my mind along the way, but uh, I always keep them to myself.